So, to help with crafting, I figured I would show myself trying to build something from this tier, which is the point of this video. So I'm just going to grab some of what I need. I need one integral log, so that's going to be... Or one integral lumber, that's going to be five integral logs. And... I had these already made. Grade eight. And that should do it. So... Let me see. Okay, that's everything. Just gotta grab an ether break. Which is here for some reason. Cool. Alright, let's do this thing. I'm gonna start with this simple one first. Oh, right. Okay, so to start, because this is a low level thing in my stats, our stats I should say, I start with the blue bar first, then I fill green. So I'm going to reflect, manipulate, waste not, innovate, prep touch. Finish out the fire gut. Generate the rest. So there's the integral lumber. Now we get on to the harder stuff. So I need leather. I'm also going to need a meal this time. My stats aren't even high enough for me to try without one. Calamari. I'm going to pop this craftsman's draught. And we're good to play. So I need two of these. Let's go ahead and get started. This time I want to start with the green bar, so that way, hell or high water, if the blue bar doesn't fill, I can at least make sure that I win this craft. Alright, so I'm going to start with muscle memory, manipulation, veneration, waste not to, I'm going to hit a groundwork. Okay, now if you're unsure, I, I know that I could hit groundwork a second time, but if you're ever unsure, just remember, you can come over here so that you can see exactly what everything will hit for. So, another groundwork will hit for 1,300. That won't finish, so I'm good to hit it. Boom. Now we're going to hit innovation. Start working with prep touch. Going based off of how many stacks of manipulation I have left. Okay, I finished that out. Now because I still have Waste Not 2 up, I can hit it one more time and it won't break. So I'm going to do that. There we are. I can hit Master's Mend. I'm going to turn Innovation on one more time. And I'm going to hit one more Prep Touch. Okay, now we're gonna great stride. Ooh, it's gonna crit. Perfect. That's as lucky as it gets. Fire Guide's gonna finish it. Nice. Now, veneration. And I'm gonna hit Tricks of the Trade, which is, again, lucky. Now I can hit Careful Synthesis. And that's GG. Now to do it all again, but faster. Now, part of what I'm also doing is keeping my eye out for the condition. Anytime that changes to good or, or, or excellent, there's other actions that I can use instead of using prep touch, which... It's powerful, but it costs double the durability. There we go. I'm 
gonna hit basic touch once. There we go. Now that Waste Knot is all spent, I'm gonna hit Innovation. And you notice I have way more CP now because I was able to do one less prep touch because of that good status. I'm gonna hit Prudent. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna hit Master's Men first. There we go. Okay. <laughs> My cough. Mic on. One prudent touch to get my inner quiet up to 10 stacks. Still got two stacks left of innovation. Time for great strides. Fire God's blessing. And we have enough to delicate to attack both. Okay. Okay, that's both of those done. Now we just have to do the cloth and we are good to go. Same pattern again. Muscle memory, manipulation, veneration, waste not to. Now, I also want to give a tip. So, if you noticed, the good status popped up while I was doing my setup. If you play around with things while you're doing your setup, you'll fuck up the whole craft. So, until you have all of your buffs out, don't play with good or excellence or anything like that, no matter how much it stinks. Okay, manipulation, veneration, waste not two are all prepped. Time to get started. Perfect start. Precise. Prep touch. Prep touch. Prep touch again. Still have a stack of waste knot, so I can use a basic touch. I'm gonna use tricks of the trade here. Give myself some CP. Master's mend. No, 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 no. So the decision here is if I use this, it'll be a crit hit, but I'll mm, It'll be fine either way. I'm nitpicking right now because what I want to do is innovate and then use Prudent Touch. But I think I can get away. I think I can get away with just using Precise Touch here. Okay, I'm gonna innovate. Great stride. Fire gut. There we go. One careful synthesis ought to do it. Yeah, I was just nitpicking, but we were fine the whole time. Alright, I think it's time for the big boy now. Yep, craftable. One. There we go. Muscle memory. Manipulation. Veneration. Waste not to. Groundwork once. Twice. And a third time. Okay. Now we're going to move over to the blue bar. Going to tag innovation. Prep touch. Okay. What we need to do now is get this up to 10 without burning all of our CP. So I'm gonna, st I, I really do wanna stop using Prep Touch now because I won't have the durability left to get anything else done if I do. So I'm thinking that I'll use Innovation, Prudent twice, then Great Strides and Bio Guy. Only problem is this green bar is still Sort of far away. I'm over a thousand away. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. If I buy our guts now, it'll be double that. No, not quite. I really do need this to be all the way up. Alright, let's do it. 
Ooh, nice. I'm just going to Prudent, though, because durability. Because this will use... So this will drop this down to 15. This will drop it down to 20. And that gives me a little bit more wiggle room. So we're just going to... Prudent. I don't even... I might be able to get away without using Great Strides. Let me see. The math... This will give me about 2,200. Yep, that'll do it. I don't even need to... Okay. So we're just going to do that. And to give myself all the wiggle room I need, I'm going to Master's Mend here. I have enough for veneration. And now we can just synthesize it out. There you go. Hope that helped.